I'll let me the order. Respect to the business is act on the agenda. <clears throat> Anybody have any alterations to the agenda? I move that we act on the agenda as written. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 This is the act on the minutes of the October 23rd meeting. I'll move we and act on the minutes. 30th written. hearing. I second that we act on the 23rd and the 30th hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The comment, then Jason down for later on. So, so we, we, we can move you out. We're here on old business, but we can move you out. <laughs> that works for me. We'll move you up to right now, huh? <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, I'm just here to talk a little bit about uh, the zoning and the uh, short term rental stuff. Um, the So, I just learned last week the municipal planning grants, we expect it to be pretty competitive, and they were. Um, our region gets about $31,000 this round, and the requests are more than double that, so no guarantees. I don't want to scare you off, but um, one way or the other, if you don't get awarded that, we'll work with you to make you know, this stuff happen. Um, I was thinking um, of this in three different dis discrete chunks, and I just want to See if that if you agree, and that might be a way to kind of get through everything that you're thinking about doing with the zoning in the cleanest maybe way. Um, so I was thinking like phase one would really just be, as I understand what you've talked about, um, doing simple, uh, quick changes to the zoning, making short-term rentals a conditional use, and then you have a definition for what's a short-term rental, and you, maybe you get that to town meeting and. The voters can decide whether or not you want to do that or not. Um, and that way, you can separate that piece from what VLCT was suggesting that needed to happen. Um, if you're awarded the grant or otherwise, you know we can then work with you on what well, I'm thinking of phase two, and that would be getting the VLCT changes done and approved. Um, I think you folks as the select board could potentially prove that. You know, that's your prerogative. If you want to go to town meeting, that's okay too. But in my mind, it's good because you're separating what really needs to happen from, you know, a, sort of a more controversial issue of, of the short-term rental. Um, and then possibly a, a phase three, if you decide to do this, could be, you know, looking into a short-term rental ordinance. You may or you may not want to do that. And that's, um, you know, that might make some sense. Um, but again, there's other ways to do it. And we want to help do it. So I want to just throw that out there and see if that made any sense to you. Does that sound about right? Sounds good to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any objections to that sort of an approach? I think it's probably good because the, the voters get to vote on conditional use and Mm -hmm. They'll hear if they want more, more than that, right? Or not. And if they want more, we can work on it. You know, um, yeah. in phase two, so to speak, or phase three, one, yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. And I, I like the idea of bringing it to vote to the voters to hear what their opinions are on it before we go too far with. Right, right. Well, and the good thing about doing it this way is. You're bringing to them what you promised to bring to them is we're going to come and ask you and this is right. the the solution you've come up with how do you voters feel about it right. knowing at the same time that vlct said you guys have all this statutory language that needs to be added if you take that entire document to the voters yeah no that's probably not you run the risk of because of one piece they turn the whole thing down and then you're some, you're kind of stuck needing yeah. maybe the statutory language and all the legal changes but because they just wanted something different as far as short term rental so this mm -hmm. takes right. down that piece of it would, would we be like would people have a little piece of paper that they could write their answer on or is it going to be public like does it probably that's like maybe cart before the horse well that's a great question um, I think think it's up to all of you if I remember correctly 
one of the things that was committed to the voters last year at town meeting was to have town meeting Monday and then any ballot items to go through Tuesday so people would come and vote on a ballot on Tuesday. You could do it either way. We are floor vote town. From where I sit, I might suggest you do it by ballot just so that it's absolutely clear that this is how many people wanted it written this way and this mm -hmm. is how many people wanted something different. But I don't know how. But but so if it were voted down like as a no, we, we have to do something? No. We don't no. even have to make it a condition. No. Like we, no. we could leave, we could just leave it the way it is. Right. If they deny it, it's denied. It's done. Right. It's a done deal unless like you want to pick it up in some future point. But, but somebody told me recently that we had to do something, so that's not true. Okay. No. Aware that you had no. to do okay. anything on short-term rentals. No. Okay. No. And so what you're saying is that the second phase would be sort of separating that so that we're not. So in other words, the rest of the zoning issues that just yeah. are legalese and just need to be worded differently and all that can get can get mm -hmm. finished, which really needs to happen. Don't we take it to the town first and see where they want us to go mm -hmm. with it? Well, not that piece. Well, if they want us to continue with the. Well, the short-term rental, though, would be, he's saying that we would do right. that separately right. so that then the, the whole rest of the zoning, which isn't changing, it's just the vernacular's not right. 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 Statutory stuff. The statutory right. stuff just needs to be reworded because it hasn't been updated for a long time by an yeah. attorney. We, want we can just approve that. Right. We right. can just approve all of that because that's not really changing anything for anybody. Right. The, the first piece is, is the piece that we would do sort of separately and then put it in if, if that's what came to pass through the vote. Right. But we don't have to do it. Okay. I just wanted to But we said we we, would, we said we, we said would we would. Yeah. We've all said. Well then I don't I just think that everybody just raising their hand and saying, I don't know. Okay. Well we'll talk about But we can how decide we on that later. Right, right. right. That's that's, that's, right. that's not yeah. Yeah. down, down I, the line. I think it'd be better to And so ultimately just as a as a a scenario say that just say that the town decided that yes um, conditional use is the way they want to go so that is accepted by the town vote just as an example that's accepted by the town vote then that is put into the secondary piece which is just the rewriting of the mm -hmm. whole thing to bring it up to legal terms mm -hmm. and then at that point the whole thing will be put together and then there would be new zoning yeah i think you know there would be um the way i'm thinking about it anyway um so for town meeting, the changes are pretty simple, but we have to make sure that we come up with a definition that right. works. And then, you know, we can provide, um, you know, this is free, no big deal. You know, we can just do it with you. Um, this is what it would look like. You know, we're going to add conditional use. Uh, excuse me, we're going to add short-term rentals as a conditional use. And then here's the definition. And we could present it just like that. You know, right. This is what the language is. They can vote yes or no. If they vote yes, then you'll have a new zoning document that has that in there. And then we can work on the other stuff. Oh, the other stuff. Yeah. And move forward with yeah. a whole, the whole thing. Yeah. Yep. Jason, how does the, the planning commission then fit into that process? Because they technically, Joe has said, are the ones that are supposed to make recommendations for changes. Right. Um, now I'm going to have to remind myself of what you've done in terms of the process and what it says about um, about this. My understanding is you had a hearing back in May, I think, time frame on the zoning. And then, then the zoning was, board had a meeting, I think, right? They had a hearing. They had a hearing. And right. Sent the document to the select That's board. Right. Yep. The select board made changes in December, made, and then I think made some changes to those changes maybe and had a public right. hearing in that process we'll have to double check and then mean, send it to the lawyer there's something about i can't remember if i think <laughs> this i think the planning commission had their hearing around this time of year last year right that sounds right the, the main issue is whether that was a year ago well i get it will be more than a year mm -hmm. by town meeting so they might need to have another hearing so we can do a quickie quickie here's the language they could do a hearing, you could do a hearing, 
you know, the more so it seems like you'd want them I to see to all the suggestions yeah. made by the attorney say, you know, so if the voters, if the voters here again is a scenario, if the yeah. voters, what are the, whatever they say about short term rental, yes, it's in there. No, don't put it in there. That document then maybe goes to the back to the planning commission with the recommendations from the attorney. They make whatever suggestions. They mm -hmm. have a public hearing. Then it comes back here. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If I can't remember now. Did the attorney talk about the conditional use aspect of short-term rental? Mm -hmm. So she was okay with that? Yes, yeah, she basically laid out, she said, you have three options. You can make it, put it in as a conditional use. Yep. Um, but if you want to regulate it, like put rules around quiet hours, any kind of anything, mm -hmm. then you also need to write an ordinance. So you can just put it in as a conditional use. People yeah. apply for a conditional use yeah. permit. You can do nothing, or you can do conditional use as well as write an ordinance. Yeah, so I think we probably could, if we're simply adding short-term rental as a conditional use and a definition, I don't think you need a, an attorney review for that, in my opinion, based on what she's already told you. So I think, you know, we might want to work backwards from when you need everything in place for a town meeting and just make sure we have enough time for the planning commission. But I think we could. I think we can, time's a little tight, but I think we could just make sure all that happens. And then I think you do the phase two whenever you get around to it. So that could be after the warning goes out for town meeting. Well uh, in my, can, I just have a question. If if I had a little piece of paper or ballot or whatever saying, do you want to make short-term rentals a conditional use? I mean, in my brain, I might be thinking, well, no, I don't want to do that. I want the select board to have an ordinance, so therefore mm -hmm. I'm going to write no. Mm -hmm. But when, wouldn't it be better to have it? Wouldn't it be more clear to have a ballot that says, should Andover regulate short-term rentals? Because that way, it really is a yes or a no. Because what if people voted no on a conditional use, but but they really meant... Yeah, I mean, I don't. But is that might want regulations, just not yeah, that type. Yeah, I mean, is that okay. like? Well, we could put in. We could, we could have a ballot that said both. Do we want short term term rentals as a conditional use, and then would you know? Do we want to see them regulated? But then we 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 would need to put. I, I think I, I think I think for a kind of simple. <laughs> exp, I, I mean, for me, I I would. I don't know if that's a wasted opportunity because we would only get it once a year to say, do you, would you like Andover to regulate short-term rentals? Because mm -hmm. then you'd actually get... Right, and that's a good question. You'd actually get a response that was mm -hmm. obvious. Mm -hmm. I just hate some of these ballots that you don't know what you're it's voting ambiguous, for. Yeah. <laughs> or they're too specific. Like you're mm -hmm. saying something more... More yeah. broad to start with, and then mm -hmm. anyway, that's what I would. Yeah, so like, would you like us to vote to start regulating by using conditional use? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Well, we could do. Do you prefer? I don't know. How would you write that up? Would you like the board to? Would you like to see short-term rentals a conditional use? Would you like to see short-term rentals a conditional use with regulations? Would you like to see short-term rentals unregulated? That's pretty specific. It's three choices. Well, but it sounds like we'll have to discuss it some more. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think you could, um, uh, correct me, Jeanette. I mean, I th I'm thinking you could have a couple different options. I think no, that's all legitimate. You know, you could just have kind of a non-binding referendum type question where, you know, should the town regulate yeah. short-term rentals? Uh, that so would not, really yeah. give us something um, to go on. And, and maybe maybe if they say yes, you know, you'll feel okay to put in the zoning is like you're talking about, mm -hmm. conditional use. If they say, if they vote yes, maybe that's something that's mm -hmm. like what feels okay to do. Um, 
And the no is very simple. <laughs> yeah, that'd be another way to do it. You may not know about the ordinance question. Yeah, because I think a lot of people are probably pretty foggy about that one. Right. We'll hear about it if they want it. Right. <laughs> yeah, or if they don't. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess, you know, we're here to help you out. I, you know, I'm not sure what tact works best for you all, but um, let us know. You know, the, the simple question, yes or no, might... Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. relatively easy. Right. Um, but if you want us to work on some language, we're happy to do that too. Well, for me, I think it'd be better to ask the town yes or no, because I think the people who want, would want it regulated m might not have a very clear view of whether they prefer an ordinance or a conditional use. I mean, it might the details might get foggy. I think it would. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that clear to the average person. What, no. What's the difference? <laughs> I, I feel a little bit like people might have mixed feelings on they'd want to know exactly what are we, what are the regulations mm -hmm. going to be. Mm -hmm. And that that would be, that they would, well, tell me what the regulations are going to be. Mm -hmm. Do we want it regulated? Well, then tell me what they're going to be. Right. And you might run into that as well. And some people who might be voting on it, if it's a paper ballot, might not be a town me meeting mm -hmm. to hear the um, discussion. Mm -hmm. Or what those regulations might look like. You know, some people may want to see it as conditional use, but not necessarily want to see it regulated mm -hmm. heavily or mm -hmm. maybe want to see it lightly regulated. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I I, I'm interested to see what the town yeah. says. Yeah, oh, I, I, like I think to, the, my, to have all those options. Yeah, my everyone. impression is is that the people who really want them regulated would probably prefer a select board ordinance that with a lot of. I mean, that was the result. That was right. the feedback I had gotten from. And the those people meetings. that don't. Yeah. Would, it seems like the conditional use is a little bit of a compromise to me. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Right, and just just to be the the devil's advocate here when we were talking to the attorney one of the reasons why we all talked about the fact that conditional use would be something that might be good for Andover is because when you start putting things rules regulations into ordinance when we start to use that brush to just say let's make an ordinance the attorney said you've got to be really careful because if you start stepping on people's rights then you're going to get yourself in another whole can of issues which we don't want to do so we're trying to do something where we're not going to be you know the member she said the words constitutional rights about a hundred right. times in yeah, that meeting absolutely so 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 that she <laughs> did use. She, she just kept saying would right. you know uh, there's a lot going on in vermont now with all of these ordinances that got put through by select boards and now all of a sudden people's constitutional rights and she said that so many times and that's yeah. where we came up with yeah. Just just keeping it simple, like you said, Put it and just use. simple and say, ha have people vote conditional use rather than the ordinance. So if we if we go and that's taking us all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, which we which we have to be careful because we don't want to get. In, we've had a lot of people who have have at least um, said, you know, be careful what you do because I know my rights. Mm -hmm. Right, we've had those people, and so you know, we that that was the whole idea about the conditional use because it's cleaner and it's and it's in the zoning regulations and it's a known entity, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not all these funny little yes, details, exactly. Like, right, yeah, it, is, it regulates each one as a, a separate case, yes, exactly, right. so that no you one can say, on it, yes, a specific one is right, 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 instead of adding. So I was just trying to clarify the why we came to that around all right. of the meetings over the last year and a half. So what you're saying is what we came to after speaking with the attorney. Oh, well, yeah, I'm definitely following her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Career. Yeah, so we don't want to forget that. That's all I'm saying. We don't want to forget that and, and start to reintroduce the whole issue that got us here in the first right. place with them. I agree. Well, you know, there's certainly nothing wrong with you could have that piece of paper that talks about this is what, it, this is what we're talking about. We're adding short-term rental as a conditional use. Yes. We're defining it like this. And then you have your question, do you want to regulate this like that? Yes or no? Period. Something to that effect, right? That's mm -hmm. all. That, that's right. the only question, though. Right. That's it. Keep it simple. Cause, and you can always revisit it down the road yes. if it's an ordinance. If that's not enough, maybe you do need an ordinance. And you could, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be. It could be two years from now. It right, could be right. Five years from now. 
After Burlington gets done with the lawsuit. Right, so, after Burlington gets done right. with the lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Chris. Yeah, so, so the one question, this is what this would be. You know, yes. Do you do you want to vote yes for putting it under conditional, under use? conditional use? This is what it would mean. This right. is what it would look like. Period. Nothing. Not a lot of just. This is what it is because people are smart. Because I don't. I don't know about the whole. Is this? Do we want it regulated? Okay. No. Because when we put in, do we want it regulated? Then we have to say what those regulations yes. are going to be, and that's the mm -hmm. issue that we're up against. Is that everyone has a different idea of what they want those regulations to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Do I think that you should have to have your fires out at a certain time? No, I don't. I think you should be able to sit by your fire mm -hmm. and have a fire pit. Now, the person that's next door to me might think different. Right. You know. But you um, can't ordinance them out of that right. <laughs> because then you so, end up with Burlington. So I worry about the whole, yeah. if we're going to ask, mm -hmm. would you like us to regulate them? Um, because if the answer were yes, then we'd really like. Well, then it would be, well, what are those regulations? Yeah. Right. These, these are the regulations we, I we, expect you to do. But, yeah. our, but they that might not be the regulations all the way back your around to the original. To okay. Thank you. Sort of, yeah. 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 So my idea is the. Uh, just make sure people out, understand, understand what it. the conditional use right, is. Right. Mm -hmm. That it's purely conditional use. That it, yeah, and I do think that it's important to have it written up as to what yeah, that I don't means. think we could do it raising hands. No. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, thank you. But we could so that have. sounds good. We'll, yeah. do, we'll write it up yeah. for you and then make sure that that works for you. We'll make sure, we should make sure that we follow whatever process we need to follow. So maybe I move that we have it written up so that we can, I move that we move forward with it, have it written up. For a town meeting. Well, we need to get his write up first. That's what I'm moving. I second that. If you wouldn't mind just, doing that, that'd be no, great. And then we can, you know, the specific, because it sounds good, it sounds we right. We chew it over. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you something to chew over, and I'll make sure that I'm talking with Joe and Jeanette to yep. just make sure we're doing whatever process we got to do. Perfect. To get it there. Thank you, thank you, right. sir. Yes. Yeah. Health insurance. All right, thank you. Thank you yeah, Susan. thank you. Okay. Health insurance. Did we get any news back from the crew as to whether they like their current? Uh, no, they did not provide me with any feedback okay. from them. Did our advisor give us an, any advice? So what Brad said was um, the plan that he highlighted that was discussed at the last meeting um, is the plan that's currently in place. And he said his, his biggest piece of advice was if you go to a different plan looking for a lower monthly premium, you're going to pay a higher deductible. Mm -hmm. The employees are. And if the town is paying some or all of that deductible, you're either going to spend money in premiums or you're going to spend more money so that they can meet their deductible. Mm -hmm. um, and he said, you know, it's completely up to you all whether we change companies. Um, it didn't sound like Charlie anyway thought that that was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard if you change every year. It's something right. different. Mm -hmm. right. And it's, it's learning a whole new, you know. I mean, um, we can get a definite, you know, any kind of feedback they have for the next meeting. And then mm -hmm. the next meeting that we have to make a decision, I think, right. goals are December 1st. Yeah. I mean, I, I personally am leaning towards sticking with what we have. Me too. Because everyone's been working with it. But at the same time, I would like to know the input of, right. you know, those of you that are using the insurance policy. Um, so. yeah, Josh has the problem with it early on. I think you got to figure out. I think so. I haven't heard any differently than that. Um, but yeah, it would, it, would be it would be helpful probably to hear and make sure that, you know, they're all good with what we have. Yeah, I mean, the price difference on the, just the premium was very minimal. Right. It was just like a few bucks. Yeah. Yeah, not much switching over. Which, yeah. yeah, right, exactly. It'd be one thing if, I mean, when we made the switch back to Blue Cross after years and years with MVP, it was, you know, for some pretty substantial savings. Right. And what you... Well, and it's a wash. A bit of money you might save... 
isn't worth the administrative hassle right. for everybody to switch and start all over with a different system again. Right. Okay. So unless somebody, um, yeah. Okay. So I'll put it on the agenda for next time to mm -hmm. make a decision. We're okay. going to hear from everybody, and hopefully right. Richard will be here to join us too. Right. Recommendations report. There isn't a whole lot to report. We've got all the salt and sand. And paving's done. Oh, nice. And Charlie's been grading. He caught up on that. Nice. So, Josh's truck just went in for sixteen hundred dollars worth of stuff. And Charlie's just going to get springs tomorrow. Back to his. Trucks continue to be expensive. Okay. We're getting around that. Any word on the loader, Chris? I didn't ask him this morning. I don't know. I assume Charlie would have told me if he was. I look at that the longer we run this one, the more we're getting out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trade trade is the same. We must still keep running no, this No matter what, right? <laughs> We have two updates with FEMA this week. Um, since mm. I was on vacation last week and Hector was on vacation the week before, so we haven't touched base in a couple weeks. I just saw in the paper that Ludlow has like done all of their reimbursement paperwork and submitted everything. Wow. Yeah, that's what I said. Huh, how'd they do that? Huh. Maybe. I don't know if Hector's their person or not, but I think we should ask him. How is right. that possible? Maybe it was millions of dollars and they were petrified. <laughs> after you get to a certain point, they just go, okay, that's all. Right, right, right you're, you're done. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Rotary classification, any discussion on that? Uh, letters went out to all the abutting landowners on schedule and the public hearing notice will be in the newspaper this week, which is within the statutory time frame that it needs to be. And three o'clock at Markham Mountain Road is for the first site visit. And we will have a Zoom option um, because it sounds like at least one owner would like to attend that way. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Uh, the old business we already got the draft zoning yeah. to take care of. The budgeting. Did we really only get twelve dollars in dog licenses? What? Um, for the current fiscal year. So dog licenses get renewed oh, by April 1st. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I so you see the bulk okay. of them yeah. between January and Oh, yeah. And April. Okay, I understand because I couldn't figure that out. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's all we have so far. <laughs> Those are the go getters. They go out and get their new right. <laughs> We got left. What's that? You go all the way to July and we're already over the budget? For some things. Well, right now we're still ahead. We're still. So we have money in the bank account, so don't let what's on the spreadsheet panic you into thinking there's no money in the bank. There is money in the bank, and so that's good. This is just where we are specifically with the budget items. So, so far we're ahead, well, we're still ahead for a fiscal year by $54,000. We'll be able to pay the first installment of our education taxes on time. We have enough money for that, and 
I have the rest of it in the account that's earning us what will earn us fifteen hundred dollars a month in interest. So that's good. Oh, they're all going to burn through too much of that for two years. Right. Let me go into our crystal ball. And Do we have one of those? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can we start working on the new budget in next meeting? Is that right? Or close to it? It would be great to get some of it busted out this meeting, but without Richard here, I don't think it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's possible. And when do you think that we would be hearing anything back from FEMA? Do we have any ideas on that? Every time we ask, he doesn't answer that question specifically because they can't make promises. Right. He's he's literally our liaison person, mm -hmm. and he just can recite to us the process. Okay, well, this has been sent through, and well, here's right. what's next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, talking to him tomorrow, talking to him again on Thursday, we'll find out which, which one of the projects that I've put through where we are in the pipeline. So there are three mm -hmm. projects out there, and then I'm going to lump all the other roads together. So it's a matter of starting on that mm -hmm. bulk of the information and getting that to him. What the three are already, the three projects are already yep, so the, submitted. Um, mm -hmm. One was the, like the quick emergency repair stuff that had mm -hmm. to be done in the first couple of days. I mean, that was only... What was that? Twenty? Was it forty thousand dollars? It was in the only in the tens of thousands yeah. of dollars. And then there was, I put through Middletown Road as its own project, and I put through Schmidt Road as its own project. And I think I'm. I know Middletown's been submitted. I don't know if he has more questions. Schmidt Road. I don't know where they are in that process, but I think I've answered all the questions and submitted the paperwork. But. So often you have to then go back, and, well, we need more detail mm -hmm. here. Well, it's over here, but it needs to be copied and pasted over here. And so then I think we're going to do the remainder of the roads as just one giant thing. And then there's also what's called Cat Z, which is my time and mm -hmm. any meeting time, administrative time that Charlie or any of the guys have spent. So that's the last part that gets um, sent through. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be a significant amount I would time. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely have a better sense after we talk to Hector tomorrow of oh. mm -hmm. where different things are in the pipeline. Hmm. Nice word. Okay. They're there, and the the other thing in there to sign is the reclassification of Old Gulf Road South. That's been written up and needs to be signed for the state.
This morning, there are any limitations on the Gulf Road South, so the campground doesn't get fired anymore either. Oh. Starts at the pavement. Right. I'm just turning off them. What's the refund of overpayment from Brown, Scott, and Nicolette? So, sometimes when properties for a few different reasons. Um, sometimes people send a check in and forget mm -hmm. that their escrow company is also paying the bill. Okay. And that was the case. Their escrow company paid it and then they turned around and sent a check because they are in the process of selling the property. Mm -hmm. um, so it got caught up in the closing process. Okay. Did I sign all of them? Yep. Just that one. Thank you. Any correspondence? There is move to adjourn. I second it. Aye, aye.